What's up guys? Pumping out another video. Still working on the Porsche, of course. Going to be working on it for the rest of my life. Uh, today I'm going to be welding this up, showing you how I'm doing that. Uh, already built it in a previous video. I still have to build the other side. Uh, similar to this, but not entirely matching. So I'll show you how I do that. But right now I'm going to show you how we go about welding it up because, you know, getting a welder into that seam right there and stuff like that be a pain in the ass so I'll show you that we're gonna TIG weld it it's gonna be back purged so I'll show you all that setup as well and let's get to it and along with welding it another thing we're gonna do is I want this part here to just sit a little bit lower so I'm gonna pull the flange off and shave all of these at a bit of an angle like that we'll just kind of rotate it down and it should give us enough clearance for what we need you can see there is this one big gap right here that gap right there is not too hot he's that's gonna be a little bit tough to fill and then getting inside those deep ridges is gonna be a little tough uh, so what I'm planning is I'm gonna split I'm gonna split it right here and right here uh, to get this middle runner out and then split this and this just to get these other ones off. Um, shave them down, weld these back onto the flange to keep them flat uh, while we're doing the other welding. The flange is going to be on a heat sink, uh, which will hold it flat and it'll also suck some of the heat out. And then, uh, yeah, a whole lot of welding, a whole lot of welding on it. So first things first, I'm going to drop a couple more tack welds on all the joints just to keep everything at a, as stiff as possible. Uh, you can never go with too many tack welds. Got a 1 308 filler rod. And uh, let it rip. up my amperage a little bit I'll be at a uh, 120 amps for these tack wells running them a little hot it's not a bad idea Now I can weld all of these very easily without having to worry about uh, other things being in my way. Along with this, this one will be a little tight but not too bad and then the rest of them are pretty open. Uh, so now I can, I could start welding right now but I'm also, I want to shave this flange, uh, change the angle of it. So we're going to cut these as well and then just shape them down using a flap disc. This one's very worn out but you get the idea. So I think I got it ground down to where I want it to be. Um, I found this socket, which is a AutoCraft 30 millimeter socket, and it actually fits nice and snug in there. 
and it helps center this uh, just so your port alignment's nice. Um, so now I'm gonna weld it up along, just get a couple tack welds just to uh, go test fit it and see how well it uh, fits up there, make sure the gap's nice where I want it. Two tack welds per tube, that should do just to go test fit it and hope we're in the right place. And here it is mocked up. Uh, you can see there's a bit of clearance in there. Uh, so that's good. And I think this will work. Uh, so now we can start welding everything up and then uh, weld the middle pipe in. Got everything mocked up. I got the uh, basically two I mean, this is half inch, this is three eighths ish. Uh, two pieces of aluminum, which suck the heat out of this part. Now I'm gonna set up the back purging, which I'll show you how I'm doing that. Now I got this dual regulator set up, uh, pretty cheap, easy setup. Uh, a little splitter, the regular regulator, and then a second regulator. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of regulator either of those are, just any sort of welding gas regulator works. And then I've got my great value aluminum foil. And since I'm not welding this yet, we're gonna plug that hole completely. We'll just stuff that in there. A little bit of leakage is no big deal. But you don't want major leakage like that. Same thing over here. Shove the hose in. Stuff, stuff aluminum foil around it. Try to keep most of the welding gas in there. It's not an exact science. And then boom. I'll usually turn the gas on to about 10. Uh, whatever the unit is, SCFH. Uh, usually turn about 10, let her sit for a bit. Uh, you gotta remember the argon's heavier than, the argon's heavier than the oxygen, so the argon will fill in the bottom and work its way up and push the oxygen out. What's going on, Corey? I fucking quit. Why? I fucking quit. I'm fucking done. I'm done. Why? I'm fucking done. I'm done. So we hop on the racing sim. Yeah. We're driving the Audi like Quattro. Who's we? Me and Caleb. Yeah. Right? I do three laps, get a lap time of two minutes and 30 seconds, which beat both you and Liam. Caleb hops on, literally 10 minutes on my fucking racing sim, beats me by two seconds. They still can't beat me and Liam on the toge though. Well, I got you on the sim. He got me on a fucking video game. He has to use my car to drive Toge though, because none of his run. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> but what the fuck? That's bullshit! Okay, back to the video. I don't know how the fuck that just happened. I don't know, man. Alright, we're back at it. Corey's mad he lost. So, I'm running 100 amps DC. And now we're just gonna... I need to drop a couple tack welds right here. And then we should be good to start welding.
All right, so I got this here all welded up. Uh, the welds aren't perfect, but nobody's perfect, okay? Uh, so now I'm working on this uh, middle pipe. And basically the same thing, cap one end, uh, poke a couple holes in it if you have to, put the hose in the other end, turn it up to about 10, whatever, SCFH, and give it a minute or so to fill up and then start welding. Make sure it doesn't get too hot, which I'm letting it cool right now. And then we'll drop a couple more beads on it. All right, now that I got this piece all welded up, uh, I got it tacked in place, and now I can start welding this seam, this seam, this seam, and this seam. And then everything's done besides the outlet, which is just gonna be, I'm gonna have to convert this little three-way into a V-band. So I'll go this, and then a circle pipe, and then V-band. Um, so I'm letting the purge fill up right now, and then once I give it about, probably once this video is done recording, then we'll start welding, kind of jump around. I got an extra, extra piece of aluminum on the back side for even more heat sink, just so we don't warp this flange, and should be good to go. All right, so I got everything welded up. Uh, now I just need to wait for it to cool down. I'm going to leave it on the heat sink until it's all cool, just to... Again, minimize the warpage. And then we're gonna mock it up on the car and then we can start figuring this area out, which is basically gonna be a cut. And then, um, see if I have it over here. No, I don't think I have any of it over here, but about that diameter, maybe a little bit smaller. And we'll weld that on there. And uh, gonna have to do some weird transition, probably just bend it down or something we'll figure that out so here it is mocked up uh it looks pretty sweet i think i like how curvy it is uh so now i'm going to use some of this which is just standard stainless uh tubing not pipe and gonna put that about there you know make it fit about there and then on the end of that we're gonna have a v-band if i can one hand it so boom, a V-band, and then a tiny little exhaust, and then eventually a turbo. Um, and it looks like it looks like with this angle I got right here, uh, besides this little tow hook area, which I could chop down, uh, but it looks like we'll be able to fit a turbo right in there, pretty uh, pretty easily, because this side will come down, so the turbo will mostly sit about here. Uh, the other side, I'm either going to make the header sit lower or we'll just make some sort of adapter later on when I go turbo. But we'll see what happens when it happens. And now I got a small piece of the two and a half inch pipe or tube cut. Uh, then I traced out the inside like that. And then just kind of contour cut it to get some focus here. Come on, come on camera, you can do this. Anyways, I don't know, oh there we go, we got something. So yeah, just contour cut it and then I just got it tacked in place. Um, and then the V-band will go right there and then my stubby little exhaust will go on the V-band. So I got this piece welded on I gotta figure out this focus issue with my camera. But I got this piece welded in and then decided to go ahead and weld the V-band on as well. Um, and a little trick for welding the V-band with back purging is you can actually just put a piece of uh, aluminum foil right in between the two flanges and then just tighten the clamp, or not even tighten it, but just throw the clamp on there. And then uh, that kind of allows this to act as a bit of a heat sink and it holds the, uh, it holds the aluminum foil on there really well. There's also some companies that make these um, that are solid, like not, yeah, whatever. They're solid with a little hole for back purging and usually they're made out of aluminum, which is a way better option, but this works fine if you don't have those. And here it is on the car. 
all done up and uh, let me see right here I'll, I'll give you the mock-up so be sure to follow my 12-part uh, mini series of making the exhaust because uh, yep there it is so that should be that should be like five videos that are about six hours long I think it's gonna take a while to make that we got a weld a weld and then check it out we're gonna have to weld this and then we're gonna have to put a hanger on it so so yeah that'll take a while so be sure to like and subscribe uh, to follow because I got a lot of time I'm gonna have to put into this exhaust and then we're gonna have to make another one Whew, crazy